What you see there is Muros. It's, uh, it's the hometown of Eduardo th that is sitting there. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty close to Musia. Musia. Uh, not far from uh, Finisterre. So, uh, congratulations with the Camino Santiago, Lalo. Gracias, gracias. Uh, tú hablas en español, no te importa, y I can try to translate for you. Uh, <coughs> I have my Compostela, you have one yeah. uh, pretty close. We finish a half of uh, Camino Santiago Primitivo, and uh, did you like the experience? Mucho, sí, mucho. Muy bien, sí. Uh, originally we had planned uh, 400 kilometers plus minus uh, but due to my uh, broken ankle we shorted in half and we start from Lugo and uh, right now we are on vacation Lalo took me up to the mountains in Muros which is a city close to Finisterre uh, for those who don't know I really recommend to go to Muros to eat good pulpo they have the best pulpo here, no? <laughs> y, y otras cosas. Uh, very good omelette, we have a uh, very good uh, uh, beach here. Y toda we, la clase de mariscos. We have a lot of uh, seafood, seafood yeah. uh, that is top touch to eat here. And as you can see, some places to go up uh, uh, to the mountains as well, or swim if you like. Um, so we took our stuff with us uh, today just to tell you uh, how it went. Uh, the minimal distance uh, of Camino de Santiago. Um, how do you think it went, Lalo? Good? Muy bien. Uh, me gusta mucho. Uh, me gusta mucho y incluso pienso un día quizás volver a hacer otro. ¿En bici o caminando? No, caminando. Yo creo que caminando primero y en bici Tiene que ser con... No puedes hacer en bicicleta tú solo, creo. M más divertido sería con, sí. con, con un grupo o otra, otra persona más. Sí, yes, I think uh, we saw a lot of uh, people from Portugal sí. uh, doing bicycle and most of them were groups. Mm. Uh, I think it was some alone too, it's possible. They have a albergues where you can even charge... Uh, uh, the electric bicycle that people even take with them to Camino Santiago. I'm, I might do it again as well. Uh, we did visit uh, Finisterre as well, but it was in car because uh, it was a very long distance, uh, 30 kilometers, and it's very, very easy to, uh, to do a Camino from wherever you like. So if you find a, a plane that goes to La Coruña or Oviedo, uh, it's very easy to start uh, a Camino depending on how much days you have. So uh, I would really recommend to do it. And uh, uh, well, I, fa I found the Camino Santiago relatively easy to do. Si. Si, it's fácil. It's fácil. Si. Si. So um, we carry about seven kilos, I think, both of us. And um, uh, didn't didn't suffer any injuries or uh, and even you can actually pay 40 euros 40 euros las privadas no y um, para cargar las muletas eh, si sí, eh, eran 5 5 euros por 5 euros por, por trayecto yeah. so you can like pay 5 uh, euros to people to actually uh, bring your stuff from albergue to albergue. Mm. Uh, a lot of people did that too uh, and didn't carry any any bag at all. Uh, but also we saw people that carry even more stuff than we did. So it's really up to you how you want to do the, the Camino. If you want to do it from a long distance with a lot of stuff on you or with a small distance with less stuff. Uh, because we see Pretty much everything we see, even people doing it without shoes, <laughs> descansos. Sí. Y, 
Si, si. Uh, or from bikes or uh, people with injuries as well. But I think. Uh, Todo clase de personas. Yeah. Gente, gente mayor, gente joven, bien entrenados, poco entrenados. Yeah. So it's pretty, pretty easy, I think. Uh, but uh, I, I'm, gl I'm glad we skipped the first days of uh, Camino Primitivo because it was mostly due to my ankle, but also the weather and the trajectory was a bit more harder than uh, I think we were trained for, maybe. Mm. Uh, so we, can, we, we don't know, but at least we did half of the Camino Primitivo. También tuvimos suerte con el tiempo. Yeah. Era te buena temperatura para caminar. Yeah. Solamente un día con lluvia. Sí. Y el resto del tiempo bueno, con buena temperatura y, and y los pueblos que pasamos muy chulos. Yeah. En todos. Sí. So um, yeah, I think uh, one of the coolest uh, days were when we up in the hills. Uh, in a town called um, Ferreira, Ferreira sí. and uh, you didn't have much, you have like a couple of bars and there was a lot of hills, a lot of uh, small houses and then the, uh, we... Muchas vacas. A lot of <laughs> cows. Uh, it was very different to walk, uh, basically. I, I, I thought it was more green than normal though. Uh, so it was pretty good. Uh, so I think most of the gear we have uh, worked perfectly. I even uh, would wish to carry a bit more actually. Un calzoncillo más, por lo menos. Sí. Los, los zapatos importantes. Yeah. Muy buenos los que llevábamos. Los yeah. Dos. Sí. I think one of the, the, the most important gear for a Camino uh, has to be the shoes. Uh, los zapatos uh, need to be good, good shoes that you are comfortable with. It not really doesn't matter which, but uh, as long as you are comfortable to walk up and down hills. Because we saw some people that were having a hard time in in in, in small small shoes, and others in in bigger shoes. So it has to depend that you are wearing a comfortable shoe that you can walk a long distance with. Y mucha vaselina en los pies. Sí. sí. So I, will, I would like to thank you all, uh, the people who donated uh, for uh, una caña, un cortado. <laughs> Thanks for that and thank for all the people that have been watching to you. I hope you like our video. Adiós. Buen camino. Chao.